that freight train, was it an illegal shot? Was, was that breaking regulations? It depends on who you ask. <laughs> so, it, uh, let's put it this way. I ended up receiving a civil penalty from the FAA. Uh -huh. So, it was legally determined that it was illegal. It was through a process determined that it was illegal. The reasons that they fined me for were not necessarily related to where or how I was flying. Basically, in, so in the United States, you are allowed to operate a drone or an RC aircraft for hobby purposes pretty much anywhere. And at that point, I was operating as a hobbyist. Like, this is all I did was make a video and put it on YouTube, and that video was not monetized. So it's not a commercial thing. It's not a, you know, stuff like that. But w because the video got so much attention, the FAA found it, said, oh, we have to, you know, m make a, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Make, make an example out of him because it it's perceived dangerous. And in, in, in their defense, like, it was not the most responsible thing. I, I absolutely agree. Um... And so what they find me on was that I was operating with FPV. So I was wearing goggles over my eyes, which made, meant that I didn't have line of sight on the drone. And as soon as I do that, I am now operating under part 107 principles, which is the commercial use of drones in the United States. And as a result, they then read the riot act of all of the part 107 guidelines that I was violating by, um, you know, operating over top of something, by um, operating outside a visual line of sight, all these sorts of things. So, but that was all down to how you interpreted one line of one piece of legislation. Wow. Okay, so... So, yes and no. It, it, it was, like, you know, it was irresponsible. I would not have said it was illegal. Uh-huh. Just to summarize until that. Until they told me it was illegal. <laughs> Because nearly two years ago, um, I don't know if you heard about this in the UK, but Gatwick Airport got shut down for nearly yep. two days because people were playing around with drones. And there's actually a thing on my Instagram, I did an animation about that when I was in my kind of weird animation days. I found it quite funny. I don't think that, because there's this kind of like David versus Goliath moment. Obviously, it's probably not funny or for all the people who wanted to go on holiday for those, for those two yeah. days. But what I'm trying to get at is, uh, I won't ask for your opinion, as clearly you're an upstanding citizen and won't and won't break the law. That we'll ignore that. I try to be <laughs> that last part you said. Um, I mean, like I learned a lesson in that, right? It's I, I, I'm very much more measured now on when and how I fly, um, and and I, I do have my Part 107. I have my commercial operator's license, like, and I and I look out for that, right? That's my that that little piece of plastic is my primary source of income at this point, so I have to abide by the rules, and and I encourage everybody else to do so. Um, so, yes, I did. I, in, in, and honestly, like, I have a lot of shame over the train the train video, because it, you know, it, when when we did when I did it, nobody thought twice about it, right? It's it's a train. It is literally a multi million ton piece of equipment and this is a 500 gram drone it's not gonna hurt anything we're gonna be fine but you know at the same time the way it was perceived and then how many people saw it that combination is like okay that's a little you know I, I understand from that perspective so I've chosen instead to find pride not in the flight itself because I, I, had, I guess I have shame of that but instead find ways to, you know, I'm glad that, to me, um, you know, that fills me with pride and, and that's, that's how I choose to see the 